All right, so this is their pricing. Got all sorts of stuff to do here. I'm doing with the zoo. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I'm in Albany, Georgia. And today I'm visiting the Chiha Park and Zoo. This is a small community zoo located inside Chiha Park. There is a 350 fee to park and $8 entry fee for the zoo. Now I purchased my entry fee at the little gate at the front. I was given a blue wristband that shows that I'm supposed to be inside the zoo, that I paid my entry fee. Hopefully once I get inside there'll be some sort of map and I can get a layout of the property. Like I said, it's not a really large zoo, but from what I read online, they have a nice variety of animals. I am wearing a fantastic hat that one of my subscribers, Holly, got for me for Christmas. Uh, kookaburros. As you may know, the kookaburro are my favorite type of bird. So she got me this fantastic hat. She also got me a ornament with kookaburro on it and a fantastic kookaburro plush. So thank you again so much, Holly. I really, really appreciate it. I am excited to be here for my spring road trip. This is my first stop. Let's get started. All right, so this is the entry building. This is our zoo hours. All right, well, first animal I'm gonna come to, hopefully, is red wolves. All right, so here we go, red wolf. Red wolves are so cute. Got some information here about the red wolf and her cubs. It all depends on how long this has been here. This is their habitat. It's all up on a boardwalk. And I see a red wolf. Hi, puppy. Yeah, look at that. Very pretty. Yeah, look at that. Very, very pretty. Remember one of the other zoos I was at last year saw a red wolf couple and their and their cubs, and the cubs are pretty young. And red wolves are the only large carnivore found solely in the U.S. Critically endangered. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? These beautiful animals were reintroduced in the wild. They're close to 100 now in the wild. So this is nice, it's out in the woods. Very naturalistic. The zoo literally just opened, so hopefully the animals will be out. We've done some maintenance here. Got some newer wood. Alright, American alligator. See the body of water here. Now all this green algae that you see on top of the water is naturally occurring. This isn't due to pollution. You just green algae only grows if it's a healthy body of water and has the same and it contains certain nutrients. The only downside to this stuff being all over the water is it kind of obscures any view 
you may have of some of the alligators. But I do see one of the alligators. All right. As many of you may know, I am from the state of Florida. And Florida is well known for their gators. I always tell people any fresh body of water, be it lakes, canals, uh, even some storm drains contain alligators. So you visit Florida, you don't want to go jumping in any lakes because there just may be one of these guys inside of it. And you pick. And depending on where your home is built, alligators have been known to go in people's swimming pools. On the other side of the boardwalk, I was just happened to notice another big gator around the dry land. And pretty close by, you get another alligator all covered in that green algae. <gasps> Woo! There's another one coming right now. Look. Yeah. This one was just making a lot of noise. Is he possibly thinking that I'm here to feed them? Yeah, look at this one. Hey alligator, how you doing? So alligators will not bother you basically if you don't bother them. Actually one of the parks I used to go to with my family when I was a kid. There was a big lake inside of the, the park. And occasionally there'll be alligators sunning themselves kind of like these guys here are. Right on the side and it was right on a trail. So sometimes we'd have to walk right past the alligators. And of course, there'd be signage everywhere, do not harass the alligators, because this thing's got teeth. Yeah, another big gator right over here. There we go. Looks like the biggest one that I've seen over here so far. Be very slow moving, but these guys can also sprint. And one thing that Florida has is a lot of golf courses, and you may have seen some videos on YouTube featuring large alligators just waltzing across the golf courses. Oh, this other large habitat has another wolf. Yeah. Oh yeah. Another pretty wolf. Yeah, look at that. Hi Wolfie. How you doing, baby? Oh my gosh, these are such pretty animals. Alright, although they don't have a map, they do have some arrows pointing to different animals. Alright, you got a reptile house. Alright, you got a mangrove snake. Do you see the snake? And off to the side. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, like right in there. Mostly off to the side here. It's uh, the glass is kind of kind of dirty. It's hard to see it, but it's right there. Next up, we got a bow constructor. 
a nice size habitat. I don't think it gives me an idea how big the snake is. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, big snakey in the back. Yeah, big snakey. Same there. Definitely a good sized snake. Got a Guatemalan beaded lizard. Really good sized habitat. You can see him right here. Let me give you an inside view of the little cave. A magnificent tree frog. There we go. Trying to block out the shadows and the glare. Wow. Look at Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Wow, it's a good sized snake. Again, I'm trying to block off the sun. Layering on this on the glass. We got a cane break rattlesnake. Ah, see his head right here. He's kind of looking at me. I can't help you if I'm headless. Got a western rat snake. Wow. That's a nice looking snake too. Got a pancake tortoise. There we go. Ah, oh, see one. See how flat they look, you know. These very flat tortoises. Hence the name Pancake Tortoise. All right, we got a Sonoran Desert Toad. Wow, that is one giant toad right there. Wow. All right, it says it's the Red Wolves. And the boardwalk there took me over by the alligators. See the main entrance. And this is the reptile area that I just was. So now I'm going to be going this way. However, I'm going to wait a little bit for this guy with the with the blower clearing the pathway. Because more than likely this loud noise is going to be freaking out the animals. Alright, so why I'm waiting for the guy with the leaf blower to finish up, I'm going to go check out Ben's barnyard, which is just to the left of the main entrance. I was walking up here, I saw a cow. So there's a hand washing sink. So it's a good idea to wash your hands before touching animals. That protects the animals, and then of course you want to wash your hands again after touching the animals, and that helps protect you. Oh boy. Always enjoy seeing the goats. Yeah, they are having their morning breakfast. Looks like a little snack of Timothy hay. You typically find Timothy Hay in grocery stores and pet stores. This is also suitable for bunny rabbits, guinea pigs, and a couple other critters, and also goats. Love to hear from people if you have goats in your yard. Man. Of course, this isn't the only thing that goats eat here. Look at that. Got a nice cow, and we have a donkey. Also having a nice snack. I didn't see the cow, like I said, as I was walking up. There's no signs up here that says what type of 
goat, donkey, and cow these are. This cow looks like it's got like a sort of a, a fuzzy coat to him. Of course, it's going to be spring in a few days, so it might just be its uh, winter coat. Always enjoy the goaty goats. Yeah. All right, you goats have a good day. All right, so I'm not hearing a leaf blower anymore. So going to be on the boardwalk. This is the area where it makes a complete loop. All right, they have a black rhinoceros. Ah, here we go. It's hidden behind this big old tree stump. Couldn't see him at first. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Beautiful animal. More information about the rhinos. Oh, they have an aviary. Pink pandemonium. These are the plastic pink flamingos that are known in the state of Florida. Usually senior citizen communities, they have pink flamingos in their yards. Uh, we're really going to see some sacred ibis. Waldrop iris. Lesser flamingo. Alright, here we go. My second favorite type of bird, the flamingo. You see the ibis right behind. These are a lot larger than the white ibis that I see throughout the state of Florida in the wild and the scarlet ibis I usually see in zoos. You can hear sort of the, the grunting noise that they make. Oh my gosh, I completely missed them. I was wondering where the other ibis were until they moved. This blended in so well. So the Waldrop ibis, which is these two, these are the ones that I see the least amount of times. This might actually be either my second or my third time seeing them. I also forgot to mention at my intro, this is my 100th zoo that I've been to throughout the United States since I started my YouTube channel. So I've been to 100 different zoos so far. Still a lot more to see throughout the United States. And I've also been to 38 different states so far out of the 50. I'll be visiting several more new states this year on my upcoming road trips. I have my major road trip coming up in May. And then my second larger road trip going to be late summer. And then I plan to have a second mini road trip around Halloween time frame so there'll be more stuff to see oh boy african spurred tortoise and i do always get excited to see african spurred tortoise many of you already know but for the few that may not know i actually have a african spurred tortoise or sulcata tortoise that lives in my backyard and his name is sheldon And he's about 10 years old now. 
We got a black tailed prairie dog. See, prairie dogs live in holes. Oh, I do see one right here. Yeah, there we go. You're going to think they were all inside. Here we go. Also cute critters. All right, so following the pathway around, come to this next habitat area. All right, we got cheetahs. Got one of the cheetahs right here on the rock. Such gorgeous animals. And right behind, I see two others. Yes, you're really out here in the woods. It's a pathway I'm on right now. Can continue on. All right, we got back turn camel. Or a two hump camel. Look at the camels are getting a drink of water. More information about the camels. My mistake, I thought this was two different camels. It's one. See, this is a male. Wow. Yep, he was getting a drink. What's up, sir? It's our planet. That's why you see that thirsty camels there drinking up some water. Yep, yep, yep. Now you actually see his humps are there, but they're kind of folded over. This is not uncommon to happen. And contrary to popular belief, humps are made out of fat, not water. Now we're going to continue along on another boardwalk. Alright, we got black and white Columbus monkey. Hi. So they have those really long, fuzzy white tails. So yeah, the monkeys have a lot of stuff to climb on. And they even got a nice slide over there. But that's fun. Yeah. The one's taking a nap. Yeah, right, we've got American black bear. And the black bear habitat is pretty good size. So I'm not currently seeing the black bear. I think that's because there's some workers in there doing some maintenance. So apparently the black bears are not out on the habitat just yet. So far it's the only animal I have not seen. So I will check back. There's some additional information about the black bear. All right, so just past the black bear habitat, we come to this kind of a fork in the road, either left or right. So I'm gonna go to the right first. I'm not sure if this is the actual rounded portion that I'm supposed to go to. I'll find out when I get there. All right, it's the end of this boardwalk section. We come to Sandhill Crane. Oh, this is nice. Here we go. There's the Saint Hill Crane. Very pretty birds. 
I've uh, seen sandhill crane in the wild multiple times in my home state of Florida. Very, very pretty birds. Yes, this is the end of the boardwalk for this portion. This is kind of beyond the habitats, looks like. It doesn't appear this habitat is being used right now. But overgrown, I don't see any signs of any animals and there's no signs, so not being used right now. See on the railing it shows you wingspan of the different types of birds. Smallest being the American kestrel. The you know, Cooper's hawk, peregrine falcon, swallow-tailed kite, you got turkey vulture, you got bald eagle, and then of course the largest being a California condor. Now, I actually got to see a California condor in a few different zoos. And those birds are giant. Alright, so going back across the suspension bridge. And we'll continue. Alright, so from the sandhill cranes going to the left, heads back toward the black bears. So now I'm going to head this way. Alright, so as I'm walking around the zoo, I have seen several trees that have gone down, most likely due to past hurricanes. And you may be wondering why the zoo doesn't clean these trees up. Well, the simple answer is, this becomes a food source for various types of animals. As a tree decays, it's going to get filled with, with termites and other wood-eating insects. And that's going to become a food source for birds and other various animals. This all eyes are on you. It's a Chiha Park. It's made up of 800 acres. This is some of the wild animals that call this park home. Oh boy, red buff lemur. Oh boy, there's the lemurs. Oh. One's getting a bath from the other. Yeah. I actually like the red buff lemurs more than I like the ringtail lemurs. Not that I don't love the ringtail lemurs, since I love the coloration of these. Very affectionate, cleaning each other. Up next, we got white nose Coty. All right, the Coty habitat. I've been looking. I do not currently see them. Oh wait, actually, there is one inside the little carrier. Yeah, I do see one moving around right inside. So I'll come back. We got common ostrich, plains zebra, and emu. Here we go. This is a female of the bird. You can tell by the dull brown plumage. There's a nice plain zebra. And I see the emu all the way in the back. There we go. Okay, there's the emu. You can see the ostrich just kind of moosing around, picking at stuff. There we go. There's the zebra. Look at that. No zebra butts today, people. Yeah. 
do enjoy the zebras. Oh, 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 zebra butt. And right, you have their bistro. This is a little snack bar, but it is not open. Okay, they're open Saturdays and Sundays. Since they're not open, their menu board is not on, so I can't really show you what they normally have here. But I do see some snacks, I see some drinks, and I see uh, signage for Nathan's Hot Dogs. There's lots of tables. Restroom locations are right here, right in front of the bistro. So right over here you see the aviary. And prairie dogs right over there. Alright, so we saw the red buff lemur and it was a ring-tailed lemur. Hi, sweetheart. It's the most well-known type of lemur. Thanks to the Madagascar movies and TV shows. Super fuzzy too. This has got kind of a looks like he's got a stubby tail, or the rest of his tail is kind of underneath him. I'm not sure. Usually, ring-tailed lemur tails are a lot longer than that. We got the wildlife theater. You have a presentation going on with the school group, so I'm not going to go over there and interrupt them. All right, so I am back over by the aviary. So this concludes my initial walkthrough. While not a very large zoo, uh, they do have a surprisingly nice variety of animals. Some that I was actually surprised to see here. So there's two animals that I didn't get to see. That'd be the black bear, because they were doing some work in the habitat. And then the Dakota the was there, but it was in a little carrier. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to the bear habitat and hopefully the bear will be out and then come back to the Koti. Alright, the white-nosed Koti is out right now. Here we go. It's a cute animal also. Oh, some sort of snack. Yeah, they got some food inside a little ice tray. Hi. Anytime you go to a zoo, if you don't see the animal the first time, I always recommend coming back at least once. Multiple times if it's an animal you really, really want to see. Passing by the red ruffed lemur again. I miss it, but they were just making some really loud noises. Yeah, you can hear the other one. Hi, Fuzzy. Hi, Fuzzy. Super Fuzzy. You super Fuzzy, huh? Yeah. Super fuzzy. Super fuzzy. On my way back to the black bear habitat, I see the emu. I was hanging out in the back. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, here we go. Or three. Okay. And you see a little, th you can hear the throat thumping that they make. Yeah, they're hanging out in the back of the habitat. Oh boy. Jack came back. And the bear is now out. Very nice. Again, it pays to come back. Got these types of bears all throughout the state of Florida. Well, not 100% all throughout, but mostly the northern portion. All right, so I am heading back up to the front. They do have a very small, limited gift shop right here at the beginning of the entry area. There we go. This is a nice variety of 
plush. Do have some shirts, umbrellas, and they have some magnets. Since I'm wearing my gifted hat, and I don't see hats here, I'm going to see if I get a magnet. I like this one. You guys know how I love zebras. And $2 is not bad. All right, so this is going to wrap up my visit to the Chiha Park Zoo in Albany, Georgia. Had a wonderful time. Like I said, I was very surprised to see cheetahs and the rhino. Was not expecting that. So leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was that I saw today. And now if this is, happens to be your first video of mine that you have seen, I have been to a hundred different zoos in my travels around the United States. Now I upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you like zoos, I go to zoos, aquariums, theme parks, amusement parks, state and national parks all around the United States. Hopefully I'll expand from there. This has uh, been to 38 states so far at the time of this recording. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.